Henry Margoon Jewels. It's just a sweet, curly, layered, short bob cut. Lots and lots of big volume. Let's take a look at this color 88GR first. This 88GR is a, it starts with a dark honey, a strawberry honey blonde. I say that because the, the honey blonde is just a bit of a blush tone, giving it a rusty or, or a strawberry kind of a look. And then in there too, you're going to see some very light gold blonde highlights. And all of that is on a medium brown root. Overall, this color is neutral, leaning warm. So you all know me, right? This is right in my wheelhouse. I absolutely love those short, big, voluminous bob cuts. Uh, Jules has about a seven and a half inch bang area here. Now that's in its curl pattern. It's probably gonna shrink up to about six, six and a half inches here because I'm seven inches from hairline to chin. In the back, you'll find another seven and a half inch layer here and then another four inch, four and a half inch layer here at the nape. And there's some mild stacking in the back. It almost gives it almost like a shag, kind of a retro shag effect there. Um, there's some layering on the sides as well. It weighs about 2.75 ounces, so it's supremely lightweight. And then it features a temple to temple lace front and then is open top, sides, and back. Let's take a look at this lace front. Henry Margu does an amazing lace front. They do it right. They use a nice, fine material. They use fine knotting. And when they do have a darker root or a darker color, they kind of mix that in every other knot or so with a, a highlight color or some lighter color in order to give it a nice, soft, realistic appearance. It hugs the head nicely and blends into any skin tone. I like all this volume on top too. Uh, because it's really difficult to see through to any permatease at all on the top. So to me, Jules does offer something just a little bit different than your typical big curly bob cut. I really like how they've textured and tapered the ends on this. I like how they have layered in the back. It almost has a little bit of a shag appeal to it, which keeps the weight down and makes it look just a little more updated and fresh. The curl pattern, it's not quite a fully formed curl. It's more of a tousled wave, if you ask me. So it's got a beautiful ripply texture to it. It's sort of chaotic, which I love that as well. Now you're going to see huge volume on jewels and that's because of all this permatease. Your permatease is going to live all throughout the top of this style at the crown, back, temple, and nape. Now the permatease is here to keep the style propped in all the right places so that you have to worry about the style falling. Um, people with natural hair that want to look like this have to tease, tease, tease it and use tons of products to get it to stay like this all day and then they have to fuss with it. This is just simply a shake and go, everyday kind of a style that will hold its shape and volume. Jules has an incredible density though. So just an average density, there's quite a bit of hair here, but each one of the fibers is uh, finer and denier, but it's not an overly dense style. I think they've done a lot with the layering and tapering as I explained to keep it looking fresh and uh, not too heavy. I especially love how they textured the ends around the face. So we've got a nice wispy texture around the face and it has beautiful You'll see when I take you outdoors for a look, the wind is kind of blowing, so you'll see how Jules reacts a little bit in the wind. But I really love the movement, despite all the permatease and the shorter length, I think it moves very well. And inside, look at the cap for Henry Margu Jewels. There's your temple to temple lace front. It does extend back into a closed felted ear tab. It is very nicely contoured and features a beautiful density there at the front. Here's rose lace that's covering up some open wefts at the top. Lots and lots of permatees there. Lots of wefting throughout. Then you have a, an extended velvet covered nape. Velcro style adjusters. 
This cap is average size, right out of the box. I did have to cinch it in to accommodate a petite average circumference. Jules is right out of the box. I simply gave it a shake and a little bit of a swirl in the permatease to wake the style up. But I haven't used any product or any styling. So we're going to take a look at my uh, reader glasses here first just to see how they fit. Okay, so this is one style where there's quite a bit of permatease here at the temple. I think I would recommend that you slip the arm of your glasses in between the, the head and the ear tap. So underneath the ear tap, for the most secure fit. You get to know so much about a wig when you see it being styled, right? So again, right out of the box, it beautifully frames the face with a light, wispy layer there. Um, it's easily tucked behind the ears on both sides. And I think I would love wearing that like, like that because the the curls are just, uh, they're just so malleable. The curls are very impressionable to where you can just kind of move them where you want. And as I push this behind my ear, it just kind of curls right around and goes into place. So as you can see, the potential for tons and tons of volume is there. Let's see how much volume we can get. This would be so much fun because you can get a really cool evening look. For evening, you want a little more dramatic look. So either want it really, really puffy and big and done, or you want to smooth it out and look more chic. So this is your big puffy look. So thanks so much everybody for joining me today for a special look at Jewels by Henry Margu in their brand new blonde shade for 2019 88GR. Be sure to check out the links at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time at Taz's Wig Closet.